What's up, everybody? Card Obvious here. This is my face again, in case you missed it the first time. Um, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about hobby versus retail uh, value, value gained, risk versus reward, gambling and collecting, and just general rambling about crap. So, what I did was. I stopped by the gas station, and uh, actually I stopped by Walgreens as well, because I was out of Fairfields, so I had to pick up Fairfields. They didn't have any uh, baseball, so I had to pick up football. So I picked up a uh, football Fairfield. Actually, I picked up two of them. Five bucks, can't beat that at Walgreens. But I also dropped by the gas station and picked up some, some sunflower seeds. I love my sunflower seeds. But yeah, let's talk about hobby versus retail. So a lot of times I'll see this question, what's the best value, hobby or retail? Or what should I get into, hobby versus retail? Well, it all depends. It depends on each individual buyer. What is your level of risk tolerance? So how much are you willing to risk to lose? Now, we all know that getting a break even on any type of box whether it's retail hobby jumbo is slim to none i mean to be able to pull out a hundred dollars worth of cards from a hundred dollar hobby box is just as hard as trying to pull twenty dollars worth of cards out of a twenty dollar blaster it's very very hard to do uh if you are looking at ROI or return of investment on a blaster box or an ROI on a hobby box very rarely are you going to ever break even it happens yeah it happens sometimes you might even profit I mean you can get that $20 blaster box and pull a $100 auto out of it it happens but it's few and far between so while I was at the gas station I decided to pick up um couple lottery tickets. I don't ever play lottery. But I got a couple scratch off tickets here. One's a, uh, this is the Georgia lottery. One's a $2 all-star cash. Win up to $50,000. The other one is a $10 ticket. I never ever spend $10 on a lottery ticket. This is a $10 ticket. Jumbo, jumbo bucks. Jump so like the normal jumbo bucks are like two dollars. This is a jumbo jumbo bucks for ten dollars. Okay, so why did I buy these lottery tickets? Well, I just wanted to have a little, little fun, metaphorically speaking, difference between retail and hobby. It is all about your risk tolerance. Two dollars is like buying a blaster. So, this is your twenty dollar blaster box. Ten dollars is like your hobby box. Okay. This is where risk and reward comes in. For $2, we'll pretend this is a $20 blaster box, okay? $50,000, okay? You can win up to $50,000 with this $2 ticket. That is your risk reward. You are risking $2 for a chance to possibly win $50,000. This isn't shabby. Now, your bigger ticket, your $10 ticket, you're risking $10. To win up to half a million dollars. Okay? This is a five time bigger risk than this. Okay? Two dollars versus ten dollars. This is five times bigger risk. But the reward is that much bigger. The reward is what? Ten times bigger. Ten times bigger than this. So, five times the risk, ten times the reward. It's up to the person buying it whether it's worth it. Okay, to me, risking $10 on a lottery ticket is not worth it. Heck, risking $2 on a lottery ticket isn't worth it to me. But at least you have a little bit of fun to scratch these off and hope you win something, right? Don't treat your boxes in the hobby like lottery tickets. Treat them like you are buying cards, like you are buying an experience. When you go buy a blaster box, you are paying for the experience of ripping that. Okay? These, if these don't win, am I out $12? No. 
because they entertained me for a few minutes, right? And your odds of breaking even are way better on these than they are on boxes of cards. All right, so let me look at the odds on these. Uh, overall odds is for the $10 ticket is 1 in 2.5. So about 1 in every 3 tickets is a winner on $10. Now your minimum win on these is another ticket. So that's breaking even, right? For the $2 ticket, it's 1 in 4.24. So about 1 in 5 of the $2 tickets are winners. Your minimum prize is another ticket. So your odds are pretty good on breaking even on lottery tickets. Okay, They're not so good on... Uh, boxes of cards, hobby boxes or uh, retail boxes. So don't treat your retail boxes like lottery tickets. Okay? Don't go into buying, or I said retail boxes, don't go into buying any box and treat it like a lottery ticket. Don't go into buying a box hoping to get currency value out of it. Lottery tickets give you currency value back. Card boxes do not. Card boxes give you cards back, and that's the way you should view it. Don't go in and buy a $20 box of cards. Be upset you bought it because you only got $5 worth of cards in it. Okay? Don't be upset if you spend $200 on a hobby box and you get a $20 auto or a $5 relic. You can't collect that way. That is called gambling, not collecting. So, be a collector, not a gambler. Your boxes aren't lottery tickets. Your boxes are boxes of cards. Enjoy ripping them packs. And don't even focus on what the monetary value of what's inside is. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop rambling there. I think I've rambled on for about what? My, uh, my phone says eight minutes. Seven and a half minutes. Um, but yeah, this is the card obvious. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. I know this is a little bit different than what I normally do. I'm normally doing uh, rip videos while sitting at my desk, so I figured let me do something a little a little bit different for my truck. You know, uh, I thought about doing this while I was driving with a little uh, a little dashboard clip and all that, but there was just too much bouncing, too much noise. I figured I'd wait till I was parked and uh, yeah, go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, scratch these off. I'll let you know how I did if I won anything or not. Uh, but this isn't a lottery scratching ticket. Definitely check out uh, uh, Ralph's Trucking, a.k.a. Doughboy. Uh, I think it's called Doughboy Scratchers. Uh, check out his channel. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Card Obbies. I'll catch you later.